What's up guys, it's a beautiful morning and over the weekend I picked up this all original 1978 Honda Express. It has 97 original miles on it. The main thing we're missing is the key. I'm pretty sure I should have an ignition with the key lying around somewhere. I have a lot of these. So let's see if we can pop one in and just get this thing to run and see what happens. There's a lot of other things that we got to check out on this bike before it's technically road ready or even ready to be sold. So we're going to go ahead and check all that stuff out today and see if we can get this bike running. But first, somebody hit me up last night telling me about a really cheap bike. All right, before we start tearing bikes apart, I kind of want to go through some of my miscellaneous Honda stock that I got, and uh, we'll see if we have anything in here. Well, no luck in my miscellaneous stock. Uh, I do have some junker bikes that need parts, but this sucker right here has an air leak, and I don't feel like fixing that anytime soon. So we're going to go ahead and just take the key off of this one and just replace the ignition switch when it comes time to redoing that bike. All right, so we got our ignition switch here. Let's see what's in this. It should just be the tail light, maybe the hardware. All right, so we have the tail light, and that's right, he said that this was broken here, so we might need to try to glue that kind of stuff. And we also have the little seal, so no water can get in. Let's go ahead and see if we can't replace these and go from there. All right, so I'm gonna be using a product called Seal All. I've used this on gas tanks, actually, and had really good luck. pretty rough. We may have to just replace this entire part here. I definitely wouldn't want this to break on somebody else down the road. So let's give that some time and see what happens. All right, so we got our ignition and key. Let's go ahead and install this and see if we have spark. And from there, we'll then see if we have gas. All right, so we got a brand new ignition switch in. Now this gas cap doesn't come off at all. So let's see just the condition of this tank and we might need to do add new gas and probably need to do a carb clean. But if we have spark, let's see if it'll run with whatever we got going on. It's a little dark in there. Honestly, it might just need a tank clean. All right, so it looks like the previous owner actually emptied this tank before storing it. Um, this is a one owner bike and it was in a shed for a very long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and just throw some gas in it and maybe we can see if it'll start up. And if it doesn't, then the next step is gonna be a carburetor clean. I'm actually putting in a pre-mixed gas here, um, just 50 to one, just like any other pook that I use, just because I don't know if that oil pump is working properly. So we're just gonna put a little bit in and expect a gas leak, and let's see if it fires up. We'll go ahead and put our gas on reserve. Already got some leaks there, that's awesome. It actually looks like uh, the gas overflow is going. Um, I turned it off now, but as you guys can see, there's a little bit of overflow in that carburetor. So let's just see if we can start it. Ooh, this thing's gonna start. Looks like we're gonna need a carburetor clean. You can actually see that needle is not really moving at all. So that's definitely our issue there. Let's go ahead and take this apart, clean it all up and replace that needle if we have one. Maybe even cleaning it will take care of this. Actually doesn't look too, too bad, uh, honestly. I'm gonna go ahead and see if we have a replacement and replace it if we got it. Make sure all your ports are nice and clean. Don't forget these two in here. All right, there we go, much better, much safer. You're free here. 
as you guys can see, I'm good. And this hole too. And that goes at the bottom. Real quick guys, when I was looking for a float needle, I found a, a other original um, yellow air box and look at the difference. No shine, no shine. You can just tell how much nicer this one really is. And trust me guys, anything that moves, uh, it's very it's very helpful to make sure that it's properly lubricated. That float needle is working properly again. All right, let's go ahead and install this carburetor now that it's got a new float needle, a new air filter, and it's all cleaned up. All right, now let's see if we can get this bike to run after 20 years of just sitting in a shed. Ooh, that's smoky. Well, there it is, guys. It runs. The motor sounds really smooth. The bearings, I can tell, sound fine. I don't know about seals. It doesn't seem like it has an air leak. There's one thing left to do, and that's ride this bike, see if I can feel any issues with it, and also take it up to speed and see if we're missing any miles per hour where it would have when it was original. Again, I do have a pre-mixed gas in this bike because I don't know if the oil pump is actually working. So the, bi the bike might bog a little bit and also be really, really smoky but that's okay, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So let's go ahead and strap our action camera to our chest and take this thing for a ride. All right, so after our drive, guys, we did 27.7 miles per hour. Honestly, that's a great speed for this thing, especially considering it's like over 40 years old. Um, a lot of mine do about 30, 25 to 30 is really a sweet spot for these. And once again, guys, there's a little bit of tuning we have to do with the carburetor. I'm not running the proper gas, and we still gotta look and see if the oil pump is actually working or not but I'm super happy with this bike. I can't wait to let the original owner know uh, what kind of condition it's in now. I'm still holding off on the taillight to make sure that we have the best cure on that glue as possible. This bike is an absolute perfect candidate for a big restoration, a complete disassemble and then reassemble. And this bike will absolutely be listed for sale at some point here. So stay tuned. If you guys are interested, let me know. I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to ride safe.